the Manscaped Plow 2.0. Let's make some uh, noise! Packaging, kind of unique here. Here's what it looks like. And the razor's inside. Um, it has a brass handle with a zinc alloy top, cap, and, you know, base plate. It is a three-piece razor, closed comb. It does come with some razor blades here. Uh, looks like they give you three. Uh, I'm not going to use their razor blades just because, you know, there's better options out there, and that's what I plan on using, a better option. But they sold so many of these razors online that, you know, I wanted to give it a shot. So I'm going to be using Persona Simpson Talafager T3 knot, one of my favorite knots. It's synthetic. This knot is awesome. It has a cap to help preserve. We go in here. I'm just going to grab a little bit, about yay much. Put it in the bottom of my bowl here and we'll start a lather. Um, I am going to put some water on my face. Okay, take my knot, dip it in some water here. And I just like to bring it out and then I'll just start a bowl lather right here. It's not going to take long to get this stuff to pop. Tailorable Bond Street, a great soap. It's a, this one's a sandalwood. Uh, great, fresh, clean smell. Okay. I mean, it's that good. All right, so start painting this on my face here. and start this lather. Now, I have not shaved since my last video, so, you know, there's quite a bit of growth here. About a week. Now, I like to lather up my face first, then start loading all my equipment, just to get this stuff soap cream, whatever I'm using that day, to start softening up the hairs on my face. Uh, you can see just the peaks that are coming off all that hair. There's a ton of growth that I have going on today. So I'm just going to grab one of the Persona blades here out of its pack. Greatest thing about these, there's no residue, which I love. Okay, as you can see, no residue. So just like any other, uh, you know, three-piece razor, take your top cap, put on the blade, okay, put the base plate on, all right, and then put on your hand. Check for your blade gap and reveal. Looks good to me. So it's a pretty good looking razor. It weighs uh, 92 grams, so you know, there's some heft to it. Uh, it is designed in San Diego, California, but it's made in China. All right, pretty much the norm for entry level safety razors. This one sells for $34.99 on Amazon and I'll put some links down below. So just to go back in here, refresh this up a little bit here. Okay.
All right, that's pretty darn good. All right, looking over this razor, matte finish, kind of a gunmetal finish. Uh, good looking razor, very good looking razor. So first pass, we're gonna go with the green. Find my spot. Feels pretty good. Not bad. Pretty impressed with it so far. I kind of thought that, you know, they were just really good at advertising. This is actually a pretty good razor for $34. It really is. For an entry level razor, it's worth it. Okay, does a decent job detailing. Yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, let's go. Uh, Go with the green. You know, they've sold over four thousand of these. I can see why. I mean, I know they're great at marketing and advertising. That's a pretty good shave on the first pass. Pretty impressed. And the price point, 34 bucks, that's very good. Great pass. All right, let's give that a rinse. First pass, really good. I should be able to get away with uh, just two passes, which is very good. We're just going back down here. I'm just gonna grab a little bit more soap here. I mean, look how good this Taylor of Old Bond Street lathers. You haven't purchased any of this yet. This stuff is should be on your list. It's been out forever, but uh, it's it's really good. Really, really good. Okay. Okay. All right, going in for the second pass across the green here.
against the growth neck. Great job there. Wow, that's uh, it's pretty impressive. Uh, I'm impressed, very impressed. Give this a rinse. Okay, it only took two passes with this razor. Um, Pretty good looking razor. Did a great job. You can see here on the end, there is a little bit of, you know, from the base cap to the actual blade. There's a little bit of distance there. Um, it is kind of top heavy, but I still didn't have any problems, you know, doing detail work, you know, around my mouth, which is pretty important, especially for me. Uh, got some straight lines with it. Underneath here, I could probably do a touch up pass. A little bit left underneath there. Let me do that. Didn't have any problems, you know, getting the shave soap out of, you know, the actual razor itself. Uh, the weight of it's great. I, I can see why a lot of people are buying this. Um, if you're looking to get into uh, shaving with a safety razor, this is a great option. For $34 to try it, um, yeah, I would say go for it. Uh, I'm, I'm actually floored on how well the shaved. Um, for the price point, I have not shaved with a better razor. This thing is very, very smooth. Um, let me uh, go through my regiment here. The all in block out. This is the tell all here. A little bit of stinging. Same here. A little bit over here. Quite a bit here. Mm, yeah, over here too. A little bit more than normal. A little bit below. Got it pretty good underneath here. Where, you know, I always get some, but you know, more than normal. Okay, now that we got that all sealed up with the alum block, let me uh, rinse this off. Cold water. Okay. All right. Dab that off here. Now I'm going in with Thayer's. Love this stuff. Oh. Yeah. Really nice stuff. Really, really nice stuff. Okay. Then I'm gonna top that off with some Nivea. If you hadn't tried this stuff, this is one of the channel favorites as well. Stuff, you can get it on Amazon. Three bottles, I think, for $12 now. Still pretty cheap. I'm just gonna put a little bit on. Okay. All right. The conclusion of all this. I wasn't expecting this razor to be that well. I really wasn't. Uh, they Manscaped sells a ton of other products. 
I just thought this was something they were pushing out on the public, you know, with great advertising, because I, personally, I think their ads are funny as shit. Uh, and I, I just, you know, their marketing is phenomenal. But uh, this is one heck of a shaver. Uh, I don't know who designed this for them on their design team, but whoever that was, you did one great job. Uh, for the money, you can't find a nicer razor. If you're looking at like a Viking or something like that, I, I would jump on this first. This thing was so smooth. Now, granted, I did get a little bit, you know, right here, more bite than what I'd normally get on my face, but no nicks. And it's, it's BBS. I mean, it's BBS. So yeah, highly, highly recommended product. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys down the road.